Let's say I have a variable called integer of type integer called age, which has been initially set to a value of zero. And this is what my program requirements are. Let me first add this instruction at the top. Everybody can see that. Using static system.console. Using static system.console. Okay. These are my instructions. Okay. Accept age from user. Age has to be between 4 and 18. So there is a limitation on the value of age. If value of age is less than 4 or greater than 18, ask user to input the value again and repeat this process till user enters the value between 4 and 18. So it's not like a one-time deal. I can't do it with an if condition. If the value is not like this, then ask the user again. It's just not. It's a repetition of the process. Okay. So, first of all, I want to accept a value from user, and then I'll test it. So, I'll say, okay, right. Please enter your age. And that's between the values of 4 and 18. Age equals to So I'm doing a conversion after I read the value. Now here's my check to see if age is in the range. Let me first write an if condition solution. If age is less than four or age is less than uh, greater than 18, then I'm repeating these two lines. So I simply copy paste it. Else, nothing. So as you can get to see here, okay. Enter your age. <clears throat> if I enter, let's say, 20, it asks me again. If I enter anything, it terminates. So that's something that you can avoid by constantly asking over and over again using loop. Because if condition will only ask once. So this is what I wanted you to see. That if condition will only ask once if you don't qualify. Okay. 
Now that we have seen, after you run it once, that if it is incorrect, it asks you again and only once. Now drop this else and a semicolon altogether. Drop the else and a semicolon, delete that. And replace the if with a while. That's it. That's the only change I want you to make. Replace the if with the while and drop the else in a semicolon. Now run it again. This time, if I enter an incorrect input the first time, let's say if I enter three years age, it asks me again. If I enter 34, asks me again. If I enter negative four, asks me again. If I enter five, stops asking again, because now it's within the range. So it keeps asking till I enter a value within the range. Because after accepting a value, it goes back in the loop and makes sure, is the value less than four? Or the value greater than 18? If any of the conditions are true, it asks again. So not always the range translates to AND, because now I'm looking for outside the range, not in the range. If the value is outside the range, and in either side of the range, then either side means OR.